Shameless. You're not dead. In the Europa League, the Europa, the Europa, the Europa League. Right. One time, That's I'm uh, League. FC Porto three, Manchester United three. I just don't. I honestly, KG, I don't know anymore. Like this, like we didn't lose. I don't know how. Honestly, I don't. I don't know how we didn't lose that game. Um, we're terrible. We're awful. Um, I. T- I, I I think the only thing this game's really done is obviously it's got a point, but also it's probably preserved Eric till Sunday. At this point, I thought it was going to be a case of he's gone by Sunday, which I didn't anticipate. But 2-0 up, blow a 2-0 lead. Um, um, go get into half time 2-2. Hey guys, let's get close. Come on, let's 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 have a chat. Let's shore it up a little bit. Nearly concede immediately after half time. Don't worry, we'll give you another go at it. Then we do concede immediately after half time. Our captain later on gets sent off for not one, but two high boots in the same game. For the second game in a row, he's been sent off. And then a late equaliser from Harry Maguire. Um, just like last season again in, in Europe, we're having games that are like 3-3, three, 4-3, three, three, multiple goals. It's just madness. It is complete madness. KG, what do you make of it all? Oh, man. It's concerning on so many levels. That's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> Joey, fuck off. It's concerning because I don't even know how to turn that off. I'm trying to do like, um, don't know how to do that on nothing. That's pissing me off. Um, yeah, it's just bullshit, really. That's where we're at. We're at. This is total bullshit. And the crazy thing is Man United just do this week in, week out. And that's what's crazy about the goal is it has papered over the cracks of what type of game that was. Man you know what I'll do right now, KG? You know what I'll do right now, right? I'll end this poll that we've got here. We're over 2,000 likes. So big up to everyone that's um, liked and be sure to subscribe. We've got nearly 4K watching. So what I'm going to do right now, I won't lead you in a direction. I'm just going to put in um, uh, which are you? Ten Hag in or Ten Hag out, right? Just after that performance and how you're feeling right now. Because this is a good sample size at this point. Um, what are you? Ten Hag in or Ten Hag out? And when it comes to this, like, fence stuff or whatever, you know, you got to pick one. you got to pick one, basically. I'm saying if you have to pick one, that's what you got to do. So get your votes in or whatever. KG, you were saying before I rudely interrupted. It's fine, bro. What that game's done is it's allowed us to paper over the cracks. Our manager's going to come out and say, we're brilliant. We're great. We show great character, great fight. This, that, and the other. Belief is crazy. Like, he's going to say, the squad, the, look at what he's done today. And you know what? Bless him. It's worked. He's the luckiest man in the world because while he hasn't been so lucky, that ch- that change is kept him in a job for a few more hours. Are you with me? I think if he if he loses that game tonight, he loses his job tonight. There, there's an announcement. He's not he's no longer managing. But that hasn't happened for him. So we're here now. We're in this situation we find ourselves in of he still survived, but by the skin of his teeth. And the moment will come. We'll either be so far off that nothing can be done. Or it's going to be a horrendous result. And what scares me is we got to go play Villa. If I'm Villa, I've watched Man United and I'm so excited and pumped for this game. It's really scary hours. And make no mistake, make no mistake as well. Like, let's be honest here. Watching that game like tonight, yeah, Port went that good. They're not. They're not great. You know, they're not the same Port that played Arsenal in the Champions League last season. They lost a lot of players. They're not the same. But we. And guess what? We are the same though. We are. It's the same as last season. That's why, again, get your bingo card out with any of the any of the catchphrases that we do. Cycle. Uh, but Sir Alex got time. Bring Ollie back. The players this, the players that, that. It's the same. It's the same every single week. You know, that's why that our reflex reaction to going 2-0 up in 20 minutes away from home in Europe is, this game ain't over. Because we know this team. We know this coach. We know this tactics. We've seen it for the last two years. We've seen these heavy um, 
goals conceded games with a settled defence, a defence like of his players. Let's let's get it right. Martinez, I've rated him. But he stunk up the place. Him and Delip. That part, that's probably why he got they both got taken off. Because they were shambles. You know, with uh, Dallow and Masrai much, much better. Onana made a couple of good saves, but you know what you're getting with him. He's not going to do what De Gea used to, where he single-handedly, you know, big saves. Um, our captain gets sent off. Same <laughs> twice in two games. Like it's, it's get, I mentioned at half time. It's Groundhog Day. We've seen this script. We've seen this show. It's the same old tired stuff every single week. And today we got away with it. But big picture, big picture, this cannot keep happening. With the only difference is this is actually probably the sign of regression. Last season, at least we were doing it in the Champions League. This time we're doing it in Europa. We're meant to be a Leicester Europa. And it's not a one off. If people say, oh, it's just one game, it's not one game. There's a reason why um, we've conceded uh, three goals plus more times than anyone since Eric Ten Hag came in. There was a reason why we'd conceded two goals plus more than anyone, any Premier League side since the beginning of last season. Like, it's it's not good enough. Like, that it's is just not good enough. Shit, One win man. in 10 in Europe. And spare me when people now start saying, wow, Porto away is difficult. Well, what about FC 20 last week then? Well, at home, that was tough, wasn't it? Against the side from the Eredivisie. Open your eyes. Bigger picture. Not just this game tonight, but every time we play in Europe. Not whether we're home, away, good team, bad team. It's the same. It's the same old stuff each time. What's crazy is... And it is just written in it. Even that Maguire moment. It's like, yeah, we're going to go score this goal. We're going to do this thing that we do. We're going to be typical Man United, embarrass ourselves and just get something from the game. And we live on. But the truth is, is you. the truth is clear for everyone to see. This can't continue. He's lost it. You're looking at the players, lack of belief on the bench, you know, forlorn. They know what's going on. We suck. That's the bottom line. We suck. We're, we're, we're terrible. And he's going to come out and say really annoying things. My team showed great mentality. My team showed good fight. But Eric, what else did they show? They showed a lack of lack of ability, lack of in-game management. They showed a, a team that conceded another three goals. We conceded six goals. When you add Liverpool, we conceded nine goals. Goals against for us this season in all competitions. I'd love to know what that stat is. What is that probably? Goals against for Man United in all competitions. Because it's probably ridiculous. Well, and again, I guess why it goes back to like last season. That's why the excuses just won't wash, isn't it? Because last season marks because of injuries. But well, was it now then? We don't have many injuries now, but it's the same. So it's like, and again, this is when it goes back to when you take up all of these things. When people are like, well, no, actually, it's the injuries. All right, the injuries have gone away largely. So what's it now? Well, actually, it's because, oh, well, he hasn't got the players he wanted. Well, no, they're all his players. Well, that's because they're Ollie players and they're Jose players or Louis van Gaal players. No, they're not. They're not. What is it? What is it? And again, I think that most United fans are not saying like, oh, we should be winning Premier Leagues at the moment. But what what did we what was the those biggest Ten Hag supporters were saying? Oh, but we'll see if he, if there's no improvement in in the third year, then he'll have to go. Well where's the improvement? It's exactly the same, but it's worse. Where is it? Oh man, this has been a tough it's a bit of pill to swallow, man. It sucks. You know our club is in disarray. We are the banner club. Um, it just says it's it's not planned, you know. Um, going to the centre backs, two centre backs to save you, that can't be a tactic. That's not what managers, you know. Like when you actually think it through of how the game should be played and stuff, you're telling me, okay, I get these little struggling, but mate, when are you going to do that every week? You're just going to take off the two centre backs because you need a like. And well done, it's worked for him. Well done, it's worked for him, but it it masks the real problems. And also as well, those that will say, well, Owen, you know, you said last season of the things to back him or whatever. I know. But this is when you have to go, actually, you know what? 
I'm see I'm I I hope to see change. I hope to see progression. My eyes have been opened and it's not changing. There's new information now. You can't just keep saying those things over and over again, those excuses over and over again, and it'd be exactly the same. You have to see progression. You have to see improvement. And uh, look, I I'm, can't believe we actually <laughs> drew the game in the end, but it's just it's just not good enough. It's not good enough. And you can say and you can say it's enough. negative. You can say it's this. You can say it's that. Thank you cannot shit. watch that, that game or Thank the game shit. against Spurs or the game against Liverpool or whatever game you want to pick from this season, let alone last season, and then go, oh, yeah, but we'll be fine later on. When we, <laughs> What are we building to? Like, at the end of the day is my opinions change, but nothing's happened. And that's the other side of it. Like, I'm not mad at anyone for their opinion. If you feel like you need to keep the manager, that's how you feel. My simple opinion is I don't think it's working anymore. It's done. You know what I mean? And... Um, the fact that Bruno's got sent off in two consecutive games, yes, the um, the one against the one against the other team was silly. The one um against the first one was Spurs unlucky. Was it was unlucky. It was unlucky. But I was just like, bro, it's unlucky. This is a shame. Today's just fucking foolish. You know, like imagine that didn't get overturned. So now you've been sent off in two two games, bro. So you've missed. Look how many games you're missing. New contract, you taking the piss? And that's not also, you know, the uh, red cards and stuff with Bruno. Let's not also mistake that also he's been totally stinking up the joint. It's not even necessarily just about the red card. He's been stinking, he's been stinking up the place. He's been rubbish. As you mentioned, you know, when you're looking at captain, uh, captain's performance or captain's leadership, it's not that by performance, now by conduct, you know? That ain't, that ain't good enough. I could say it about every player. Ain't good enough. Um, just as a bit of an update on the poll at the moment, it's been running for um, nearly 10 minutes. Already nearly had 3,000 votes, by the way. Um, if you haven't already, be a, click the like button. We've got nearly 5K watching. So if you haven't already, click the like button. Be sure to subscribe as well whilst you're at it. Um, nearly 3,000 votes, 10 minutes in. Question is simple. What are you? Ten Hag in, Ten Hag out. 66% saying Ten Hag out. 34% saying Ten Hag in. And we're assuming, by the way, that, that, that there's probably some ops involved in that one as well. Yeah. So. And this feeling, your head in your hands, KG, yeah? I mean, I can't speak for you, obviously, but I've seen you do that <laughs> a, a lot. The head in your hands after a game. And it's, do you know what? It's weird now because it's not a feeling of I'm really shocked by what I've seen. The anger and the frustration is, is I'm seeing this again. I'm seeing this again. I'm seeing the same stuff again. And maybe it's right. The hope is what kills you in a sense of, you know, I said, I, he won the FA Cup. And I said, right. He said that if he gets all of his players in, he can prove it. He can do it. He did it against City. All right. Deserves another go. But, you know, it's in the same stuff. And I was wrong not to see the bigger picture. And it's, and it's the same tonight, by the way. Don't let the result fool you. Of course, I'm happy United didn't lose. You know, we got a, got a point. But don't let the result fool you in the sense of, we know what's coming. We know what's on the horizon. We've got Villa at the weekend. And even if something positive happens out of that one, what, what's going to happen when we play City this season? What's going to happen when we play Arsenal this season? Or we've got to go to Anfield. There isn't there isn't progression. Ah, oh, this club's killed me, man. I'm done. I'm done, man. Yeah, this club's done me. Yeah. Well, uh, some super chat. Sir Khalid says he's your captain. Can't get sent off. Larry says I uh, can't wait for uh, Mark N and John Morgan to excuse this. Super Arch says midfield and backline not that strong. Bruno is completely holding us back. More active without him. And why gun actually for Rashford at halftime? Why? It'd be interesting to know what um, he says about that with Rashford because as poor as Rashford was defensively in the first half. If there was anyone I was making anything look like that was going to happen, um, attacking wise, I mean, he got goal and assist in the first half and got <laughs> got hooked. <laughs> um, it might. We'll, we'll wait and see if there's if they've confirmed it about injury or anything like that. Um, 
Tabarez says Villa game will mirror Watford's 4-1 for Oli. It's just one it's win just, man. in last 10 European matches. European games. That's and again, simple. that's why yeah. that is why when it's when we've played that's two simple. European well, matches this season, and that's why you say it is not just seven games this season. Why are we pretending he's in his first season? He's not. One win in ten European games is in the last ten European is. And we've played. And how many wins have we got in the Prem this season? By the way, is it two? Yeah, two wins. How many South wins have we together? Three. Yeah. Brentford. No. No, but Barnsley, Fulham, Barnsley, Southampton. That's all we've done this season. Yeah. It fricks. Yeah, just end it, man. It's over, man. Shit. I can't believe it. That Pogba hyena is hitting yeah. the tax the on that. <laughs> Says Pogba that. hyena, three Man United nil. Bro, I can't believe. Well, I can, so I shouldn't even say that. That's it, and that's you know that's what I that's what I meant when I said that. I've seen you do that, but it's, I think it's a different emotion this time now. It's still disappointment, but it's more disappointment of not like I can't. I'm really disappointed that happened. It's disappointment of I'm still seeing that happen again, yeah. and and you're not surprised. You're not surprised. <laughs> it's any um, one in the chat if you're if you're not surprised what you saw today. Maybe you didn't expect it going into the game, but if you're actually really, I'm genuinely shocked what I saw. The only, I suppose, the actually surprising element of it is I didn't think we'd score <laughs> at the end. I knew, I knew, I just knew we'd score. It's just written in the stars for that. You know, when you just, it's written in the stars that we'll score and we get through and you hold on. Remember when Oli was like, it was almost the end for Oli? This happens with every manager. Yeah. Jose, Martial, and them lot dig him out and they save him. I can't remember who saved Oli, but I think it's Rashford and someone. Um, this has happened again. Maguire, um, the guy that he removed the captain's armband off, which I respected at the time, comes up and saves him today, saves his bacon. It is a genuine question as well when it comes to Maguire. Does he, does he start against Villa? Oh, Maguire's going to do it as well. Don't get twisted. He just... I know, kind of... I know. But I'm just saying at this point, if you're, if you're going like... Because we can't watch that game tonight and be like, oh, yeah, um, De Ligt and Masrari and uh, Martinez. You're like, having bad well. memories. No, you're having bad memories. Remember when um, Maguire... I don't think, I don't think it matters. He pointed that wall back. He pointed that wall back and was like, I couldn't I don't do think it. I don't think it matters, but I'm saying from Ten Hag's point of view. Don't you remember when he said... He looked at Welbeck and said, I couldn't do anything about that. Welbeck. But then, but this, but this is my point, KG. You look at Martinez tonight. You look at Delict tonight. They do the same thing. That's what I'm saying. The mentality <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I've, that's why does Eric just go? Oh, I'll play Maguire then. He scored. Oh, let's just Owen. Let's just end this, man. <laughs> uh, we've got some more super chats, KG. Um, uh, uh, Ilmatic says, please tell me a time a player got back-to-back -back red cards that at least you can remember. I can't remember, to be honest with you. Probably it's kind of Roy Keane ish isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Nathan says, KG, are you doing a show, a show tonight on your channel? Yeah, when you finish yours. Yes, we are going to have the uh, full-time view. is going to be coming up very shortly here. Yes, where, and probably, where, what time do you reckon you, like an hour, do you reckon? 45 minutes, something like that. Um, we'll be live and I'll be live in about five minutes time, 10 minutes time, something like that. Uh, members can call in. They can have their say. If you do wish to come a member, you can do so. Links in the video description. Or you can click the join button. The link will be on the YouTube channel um, on the community tab. If you're a member, it should get emailed to you or something like that as well. You get a notification. Um, how many likes did we end up at? We still got over uh, 3,600 people watching. Uh, let's see if we can get 2.5K likes on the way out. Also a reminder too, uh, that the match view um, minus KG sadness was brought to you by uh, Fail Forward, as you can see beneath me. Uh, well, yeah, and it's pretty appropriate, really, isn't it? Actually, <laughs> when you think about it. Um, but as you can see beneath me or to the right of me on the screen, if you scan the QR code and go to the website, you can use the code United View FF for twenty percent off your next purchase. You can see KG's shirt, his hat, my hoodie. 
that we're wearing this evening is from Fail Forward. So big up to them. Uh, and also, again, use that QR code or go to the website. Use the code UnitedViewFF. Save 20% off your next purchase. And a final super chat um, says, Joe Fleming says, who do each of you want to replace him? I have not even thought that far ahead, KG. What? That kind of sums that one up. Um, so big <laughs> up to everyone. Oh, and um, KFlow says back-to-back -back reds, and he's not even a DM. So there you go. Big up to everyone that's tuned in. Big up to KG. Um, as I mentioned, full time view will be very view very very shortly. KG's going to compose himself. He's going to record his fan view. He's trying to think what he's going to say as well. And we'll be back next time. I'm out there. Peace. <laughs>